Hi, I'm Paul DeGrandis, CEO and co-founder of Our Shelf, a social cataloging site that empowers users through the things they own and the people they know so that they can find the stuff they want or need faster and cheaper, better manage and track their personal belongings, and also earn some money off the stuff they're no longer using. It's a crucial component. Ah, uh, Steve, I'm always playing tricks. It, it pretty much whittles down to four key behaviors, and that's really the heart of what our shelf's all about. People do these four things with their personal goods. They catalog, they share them with other people, they use it to discover new stuff, and they have rich social interactions around them. I'll give you a quick example. I have a DVD collection. It's about 20 or so DVDs big, not too large, but I have a certain way that I catalog and organize them that makes sense to me so I can find the DVD I want fast. But when my friend Brian, also another co-founder of Our Shelf, comes over, he always scans the shelf to see if I have anything new that he wants. Sometimes he says, oh, you know what, this movie, I always wanted to watch that. Tell me about it. So I give him a quick synopsis, a cool review. I compare it to some other movies. And that review means a lot to him because it comes from somebody he, who he knows who has a similar movie taste. So I lend it to him because I'm a good friend. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it back, but sometimes I don't. And uh, when he brings it back, he was like, you know what, your review, spot on, great movie. But storyline, just like another movie I saw about two weeks ago, you should watch that movie, I bet you'd like it. And now I've discovered a new movie to watch, a new movie for my collection. Pretty soon, Brian and I go back and forth swapping stories about movies, and we create a really great movie night. You know, we start grouping around directors or genres or actors. But it doesn't just happen with movies. This happens with books. It happens with home and kitchen goods. It happens with baby goods and mothers. It happens with a lot of physical goods. And it doesn't stop with physical goods either. It happens with digital goods now too, like songs on iTunes that you catalog and share through Last.fm, that you discover new artists and start going to new music events or finding new fan bases. So it's this core behavior, these four characteristics, that our shelf really groups around. <coughs> so we're empowering people through the things they own and the people they know. That's their social circle and their item graph. We're empowering people like Beth. Ah, uh, Beth, who's married and has one child on the way. In fact, that child is due this week, and she can't be here for the presentation. But she helped us a lot. And all through her pregnancy, she was going online and reading reviews and shopping online for her baby goods. She was reading reviews, though, from people she didn't really trust and she didn't know. And she had to go look up the history of companies to find recalls. This was a long process. And ultimately, she just went to her friends who have similar lifestyles and live just outside of Union Square and you know, have, have roughly the same income to get the reviews from them and to also ask to borrow the baby goods they were no longer using. But Beth could have used our shelf to empower that entire thing. So the, the first thing we need to know in this two-part process is all the people you know. It's pretty easy. You either sign up with our shelf there on, this, on the left side or on the right side, you connect with Facebook. So Facebook makes a lot of sense because we can get that social graph from you pretty fast. The second piece we need is all the stuff you own. That's a pretty daunting task, right? Manually going through one by one, adding all the stuff you own. It's pretty easy with our shelf's import process. So right now, you can import an iTunes library, a Shelfari collection, a library thing collection, and pretty soon, all your Amazon past, purchase, past purchases. We're actually releasing uh, a new version of the beta for the Amazon past, past purchases in about a week. We were trying to do it today. The development server dropped down as a disaster last night. but. Uh, it will be up within the, within the week. So, you know, that's a great way to populate the shelf and get all the stuff you own. So now that uh, we have the two pieces, all the, all the people she knows and all the stuff she owns, she lets our shelf do the rest of the work for her. Here's Beth searching for a baby crib. She realizes, you know what, I, I actually do own that Sealy Perfect Rest mattress. I'm going to add it to my shelf. I'm going to organize it with labels. Well, I'll look below at this, at this traveling crib. That user Opalies owns it. Now she can get to the reviews that she needs right away and save money by borrowing it from somebody who she already knows. Once she returns to her shelf, she can go ahead and augment the information she has, review it, rate it, label it, organize it, change the status. And pretty soon, we're going to, in this next version, we're going to allow her to sell this through multiple online avenues like eBay and Craigslist. So we're empowering people just like Beth, these moms. But we can also empower a lot of other people, too. Think about college students tight on money, expe expensive textbooks, you know, love media, want to see movies. You know, we can empower those people too. Imagine going through college and never spending money on a textbook, just searching our shelf for it, 
finding it in your social circle at your college and borrowing it from a friend for you know, a term or a semester. We're also empowering people in the do-it-yourself space. So you have a 40-foot ladder in your basement, but how often do you really go on the roof? You know, once every few years. You really only needed it for the, for the gutter project you did last week. So we're sort of like delicious. You know, we, we socially catalog. We don't socially bookmark. But we're cataloging physical goods and connecting people with those goods. And we're sort of like Shafari, I mentioned this name a couple of times, which is sort of a, a book collection uh, company that was acquired by Amazon. But we don't just stop at books. We can actually catalog anything with a UPC or an ISBN. Pretty soon, we'll allow users to sell through multiple online avenues. So the business model is interesting. We make a, a strong separation between our users, which are the people we're empowering, and our customers, which is a business-to-business -business play. So when we capture this, this information, we have a lot of rich personalization information, which is a pretty hot data market right now. In fact, Amazon, the leader in online retail, for the past three years has funded and acquired companies that could augment their personalization information, companies like Shafari. But we take it one step further. Currently, uh, the personalization market is just based on past purchases and buyer intent. And we're, we're augmenting that information with your social graph, all the people you own, which also shows a lot of interesting things like, Maybe Steve and I don't live very similar lives, but the stuff we have in our house could be pretty similar. And you know what? We probably purchase similar based on that. So we're taking that information, exporting it to the people who need it, like Buy.com, QVC, and Barnes & Noble through a, through a subscription pro process. And this gives the user a highly personalized shopping experience directed to the very specific user. So we've identified some key competition in the area, and we found the, the functionality that worked best for each of those competitors. We integrated it as well as we could in our shelf and also added some extra features. So now that you know a little bit about our shelf, we're a pretty young company, but we've already seen a lot of good movement. So you know, we're a web company. We have an early beta up right now. We're releasing a new beta that is much more polished. We have some, some user growth. It's looking pretty good. We've sized up this digital mom's market. It looks pretty promising according to an e-marketer report and, cons and uh, confirmed by a Nielsen report. And we've already had a lot of positive press. We've also done this without ever actively marketing the product. We've never once spoke to anybody publicly about the product. They've simply discovered us and started spreading the word. And we've got a winning team behind this. A lot of web experience, a lot of advanced research and search experience, a lot of enterprise experience, experience in scalability, experience in data. But we also know what we don't know, right? So none of us are designers. And the first thing we did at Dreamit was pick up Kanye, who's a lovely designer. And we're backed by a bunch of great advice, uh, ex-venture capitalists, serial entrepreneurs. Dreamit Ventures, of course, has been great for us. Uh, wonderful lawyers who are in the room right now. <laughs> they were outstanding. So we've got a really winning team that is, is driven by metrics and driven by execution. So uh, we're, we're going to release this new beta within a week. We're going to make that social media marketing push to the moms. We already have that all lined up. That's coming out in two weeks. In six weeks, hopefully, we'll see some traction. And we're going to use that traction and that mom's marketing data to really go after strategic partners. We're hoping that we can fund the business by that point. We're not looking for investments right now. We really need to show traction and show the model works. We have a buzz marketing campaign planned around a simple stamp. It's going to cost us a dollar to do. And then uh, we've already sized up the college student market, which is the first market we originally went to, jump back to moms. So then we're going to make the push to college students. So that's basically it for me. And after today, I want you to start going home and start keeping your stuff on our shelf. Thank you very much.